Hey, I have a question for you this morning. What's your attitude when somebody else is blessed and it seems like you're not blessed? Good morning. This is Breakfast with James Okumu. Breakfast is served. Now this week we are talking about stewardship and we are looking at stewardship from a very interesting story. We all know it, it's the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's found in the book of Luke chapter 10 and we read verse 30 today. It says, Jesus replied, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he encountered robbers who stripped him of his clothes and belongings, beat him and went their way unconcerned, leaving him half dead. Now, if you're like me, when you read this story, you always think about kindness and helping others. But I want to bring out another angle this week as we look at it from the point of stewardship and attitudes towards stewardship. The first attitude is the attitude of the robbers. And this is the attitude they had. What is yours, or rather what you have, is mine and I will take it by force. And that's exactly what they did. They robbed this man, took everything, left him for dead, not caring about him. Now you may be thinking, that kind of attitude does it really exist in the church? Well, we may not be killing people and taking what they have, but back to my original question, what's your attitude when somebody else is blessed? Do you feel entitled to their blessing? Have you ever found yourself telling somebody that because they are so blessed they should feed the poor and they should do this and they should do this or because they have a car they must give you a lift? That's the kind of attitude that I'm talking about. That what you have, I will take it because I also must be a partaker of it. That's a wrong attitude because that's the attitude that the thieves had and they robbed this man and they left him for dead. So you and I should check our attitudes today. When somebody is blessed, what are you feeling on the inside? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we talk about stewardship this week, may we recognize the attitudes that we may be carrying in our hearts and we are not even aware of. May we not be the kind of believers who have the attitude that thinks what you have is mine, I will take it by force. But Father, may we celebrate others even as you bless them. We thank you and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody says amen. I've just realized this is the attitude of a parasite. He doesn't want to do anything. You don't want to do anything. Your job is to fast and pray. And other people work hard and then they come and they must give you. That's not how it is. Shortly, Kingdom Culture. So this week, Kingdom Counter, we are talking about forgiving one another. This one is a huge one for many believers. Let's read Matthew 6, 14 and 15. It says, For if you forgive others their trespasses, their reckless and willful sins, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, nurturing your heart and anger with the result that it intensifies with interferes rather with the result that it interferes with your relationship with God then your father will not forgive your trespasses has it ever occurred to you that God's forgiveness is conditional imagine it's conditional it's conditional based on your willingness to forgive others and we even say it forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us there's no way God will forgive you if you're not willing to forgive others. Question this morning as we wrap up, who are you still holding in your heart? It's time to forgive. It's time to let go. That's all the time we have for breakfast this morning. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on WhatsApp, please forward to as many people as possible. If you're watching on Facebook, please, please, please share on your page. We want to get a million people receiving this breakfast each morning. Have a great week. God bless you. Breakfast is served.